Oh my gosh. My favorite thing ever happened where I record a video and then my internet cuts out while it is finishing. So now I have to redo it. So, I'm going to try and remember all that I said last time. Um, I guess I can just make it shorter and then I'll help my life. Um, okay, so Callie, here is the answer to the question about who I would want to interview, like what actor or actress, and by far it would be Josh Hutcherson and Liam Hemsworth um, from The Hunger Games. I think that it would be cool just to find out what, what the whole process was like for them because they're going into this, this franchise knowing what happened with Twilight, and I'm not going to go into the whole, like, comparing Twilight and Hunger Games, I'm just talking about both fan bases of these series are really rabid fan bases, and I have a feeling that the Hunger Games is going to do really well, and so I think, like, I know that their mentality had to be different than what, like, what Rob and Kristen's was going to be when they walked into Twilight, because they literally had no idea what was going to happen. But I'm just wondering if with Josh and Liam, if there's this different approach to it because they know that there is a potential that this could be a really huge, huge um, franchise. Um, because I think, I mean, I don't know that it could be bigger than Twilight, but it could be huge because it, it, it's not one, I mean, let's be, let's be honest, Twilight ap appeals mostly to women. I mean, yes, there are men that read it. But with Hunger Games, I think it's much, it's more evenly distributed, where there's probably as many men and boys that read this as women do. Um, so I, I would want to talk to them. I think that would be really cool. Although, now, granted, Liam is probably one of the most handsome guys I've ever seen in my life. So that might be just a little distracting. <laughs> and it might make trying to be professional kind of hard. Um, yeah. That but it would be cool, definitely. Um, I also have to like I can't just narrow it down to to two. Well, I couldn't even narrow it down to one. Um, but I think Stanley Tucci, who's playing Caesar Flickman, Flickerman, Flickerman. Um, I think he would be hilarious just because he would be a laugh riot. Like that interview, I would think it it would just be it would be a lot less serious than I think the one with Josh and Liam would be. I mean, not like I, I know these people, so I don't know what they'd act like, but I think Stanley, you know, he's an older guy, and not old, but just older than Josh and Liam, and I think it would be cool just to see what he thinks about um, about going into this franchise, because, I, I mean, I haven't seen a lot of his stuff. The last thing I saw was EVA, and he is hilarious in that movie, um, and I know I've seen him in other stuff. He's one of those great, I guess, character actors is what he is, sort of. Um, so I'm excited. I would want to know, like, what, like, if he plans to keep any of the costumes, or if he's seen anything that he's wearing yet, um, if he's thrown in any suggestions for what his character is going to be wearing, because you know it's going to be nuts. Like, I hope that they go insane with this, because in my book, or in my head, I picture these people looking like cotton candy, like, different colored cotton candies, like, fluffy and brightly colored, and... Just in, like, Candyland? Oh my gosh. That's what they are. It's like, the people in the capital are like, they live in Candyland. Sort of. So, I'm curious to see, like, how crazy they go. Because I haven't, I've seen nothing from the set. Like, I know that there are pictures out there, and I have looked at nothing. Which is really, really hard for me to do. Because I've done it with Breaking Dawn. I've looked at set pictures, but I haven't with Hunger Games. Um, so I don't know, like, what any of the, what the costume designer, like, what look they're doing with this. Um, so, yeah, I would want to talk to Stanley Tucci, and also, I'm going to throw in Lenny, Lenny Kravitz, too, because his casting for Senna totally, totally, totally blindsided me, and before I looked him up, I, I didn't know that he had been in Precious, and, but that's, like, the only movie that he's done, and this would be, for him, this is a huge commitment, because, from, I mean, from what I remember, Senna is in all is in all three books, so then he would be in all three movies, and I just, for, I don't know, I just, that's so strange to me, and not like it's a bad thing, it's just, it's, I did not expect it at all, like, he's not how I pictured Senna to be, um, and I just, like, I, I, I remember reading that his daughter, 
Zoe is friends with Jennifer because I think they worked on X-Men together. And I'm wondering if she somehow, like, introduced her dad to the Hunger Games and, like, how did, did he, was he approached to be in this movie or did he, you know, call his agent and say, I want to be a part of this? Or, like, what was that? <laughs> like, I want to know what that casting process was like. Um, and I'm just going to, I don't, I would love, now that's Hunger Games. See, it's hard. Like, I can't just pick one. So I would have to just say also, anybody from the break in the Breaking Dawn stuff, like, anybody. I don't care if you're an extra on the movie or one of the producers. And the producers know, like, everything there is to know. So they would be ace to talk to. Um, just anybody. Anybody. I don't care who it is. <laughs> um, so, let's see. Um, so my question for y'all is, I'm, I'm going to throw this back at you. Who, like, and it could be, we're going to broaden this, and it doesn't have to just be an actor. It could be, it could be, like I said, it could be a producer, it could be the cinematographer, which that's one thing I would love to do, is to interview Guillermo Navarro, who's the cinematographer for Breaking Dawn, because, I mean, I'm a photographer, and I would love to talk to someone about, like, the visual aspect of film, because that, I, I'm not a filmmaker, so I'd like to learn about, like, the differences between that and photography, and... So that's what you guys can answer. Who, is there somebody, either cast or crew, like it could be an extra, it could be a stunt double, it could be a stand-in. Stand-in see a lot of stuff, because they're standing there, just standing, getting paid to stand and sit or lay down or whatever. Um, or it could be like a music supervisor, the composer for the film. Um, I know I was reading something that said, it was talking about T-Bone Burnett is supposed to be doing some music for The Hunger Games. Which, for music nerds out there, that's pretty cool, because I don't know exactly what he's done, but I know that he's a very important person in the music industry. Um, or just anybody, like anybody in any aspect of filmmaking, whether it's even the author, like, of whatever series it is, it could be any series, who would you want to interview and why? Like, anybody. Anybody. Um, and Kelly, to answer your question about the fairy tale, like the modern take, I have never read a book like that. I've heard of them, but like Jackson Pierce, she's written some stuff, but I haven't read it. And so I'm going to look up the book that, well, I actually, I looked at the author that you were talking about and I saw that she wrote Ella Enchanted and that movie is adorable. I just haven't, I didn't know it was a book. So I might have to check that out. Um, but yeah, so you guys have fun answering that question because I'm curious to see who other people would want to interview. So, yeah.